Okay, so they've combined two shapes in this question. They've got a hemisphere and a cylinder. So what we do is just work out the volume separately and then put them together. So the hemisphere, which I'm just going to say hemi, is going to be um, a the volume of a uh, sphere, and then we're going to halve it. So the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed, but then we're going to divide it by 2 because it's half a sphere. So 4 thirds pi times pi times the, the radius is 11 cubed divided by 2, and I should re put that into brackets. Okay, so um, and I'm just going to leave it there actually because I want to keep the answer in my calculator after I've worked out the other one. Um, so we're going to work out the area of the cylinder. Uh, sorry, the volume of the cylinder. So it's the volume of the uh, circle at the top of it, which is pi r squared. And then we're going to work out the, or go times it by the length or height, probably in this one. So pi times the radius, which is 11 squared, times 23. And then what we're going to do is add both of those, both the hemisphere and cylinder calculations together. Um, so I'm going to get the answers in terms of pi. So I'm going to do the hemisphere first, 4 thirds times pi times 11 cubed equals, and then divide by 2. And it gives me a horrendous answer, so 2662 over 3 pi. And the cylinder is going to be pi times 11 squared times 23. Which gives me a bit of a nicer answer, 2783 pi. And the total volume is going to be them added together. So if I write the numbers down right. So 2662 over 3 pi. And putting them in terms of pi just helps us keep the accuracy. So we only round the answer. So I'm going to add them together. So uh, 2, six, 2, pi over 3. And add them together. And this time I'm, I've got an answer, so I'm just going to write down the decimal. You can switch between uh, in terms of pi and decimals by the STD button on the Casio calculators. So it says it two decimal places, so 11530.69 to two decimal places.